Who knows where this storm is gonna go? Nobody knows, not even the people on the news. Because if there's one predictable thing about a hurricane, it's unpredictable. And that shit rolling through here. This week, category three right now, but I feel like it's gonna pick up some speed as it passes Cuba and sits in the Atlantic Ocean in the Caribbean. But I, I've been looking at the track of this thing for like a week now and it's moving pretty quickly. So I think we'll be straight. It's just gonna be like a day and a half of rain and then boom, it's gone. It's just, is the eye gonna hit us? Are we gonna get lots of wind and rain? Are we gonna have flooding? Are we gonna have trees in the street? That's the only thing we have to wait for is the destructive aftermath of the storm, so. This man got me filling up sandbags. Freaking sandbags for what? Flooding? Keep my office from flooding. My back room office from flooding. We'll be fine. The bedroom we'll potential if the grass gets too soaked. Precaution. I didn't know you had to do it yourself. Yeah, you gotta bring your own shovel. I thought, because they showed prisoners doing it. That's with people that can't do it. They'll prepare it for those that can't do it, but we gotta do our own. It's nice to see white people and black people working together. Look at this. Oh, Abe Lincoln would be proud. <laughs> oh, see, can't do this shit with one hand. <laughs> Don't want our house flooded. That's what we gotta do. Look at my dad out here slaving away. Come on, boy. About 12 of them shits. Oh, that should be enough. We out of here. All right, man, father and son, up. we do not like doing manual labor. We don't. This is not us. When I, this ain't the 70s. This is not us. The 70s, I am at the 1700s. <laughs> the calm before the storm. As they say. So it looks like this thing is uh, getting serious. They said it's supposed to strengthen to a category four storm. More people are boarding their houses today, including us. We're gonna be boarding up the windows. The clouds ain't as pretty as yesterday. It's supposed to get hit around, I think the, well, the rain starts today and then the hurricane's coming Friday. So Thursday, Friday to like, 8 p.m. we're gonna get rain and then they're saying it's supposed to like turn and come hit us again. If that happens, that's fucked. Plywood, let's do it. Got us a small window here. Same situation. Of course it starts raining while we're working. Luckily we got a neighbor over here helping us. He's cutting up our wood so it can fit on our window. Matthew has made landfall. I'm in my garage now. A shingle that fell. I don't know if that's ours or the neighbors. They got the tree up there swaying. So we got some bad wind right now, some rain, but it's not like a heavy downpour of rain. It's just mostly wind right now. So there's shit on the ground. And we'll see by tomorrow how bad it is. But I'm not expecting it to be as bad as that one year. This hurricane came at us today at a category three, 120 miles per hour. So we're getting hit right now and waiting it out. 20, it's going to be a long 24 hours. Hmm. Well, I was going to finish packing. Watch TV. You got flashlights. And it's hotter than hell in there. No AC. The shack tree's gone. It's it's gone. I'm gonna show y'all some of the neighborhood destruction here. First off, we got light pole that came down. If you look down there. 
Just every every tree in this neighborhood pretty much came up. Shack tree. Done. In half. Done. Done. Everything. Trashed. I'm gonna come back out here tomorrow. It's still kind of windy out here. Dangerous. We are very thankful in this neighborhood that none of these trees fell on anybody's houses. So, just a little debris in the yard. But other than that, let the cleanup begin. RIP to the tree that was standing up for years. It is now gone. The shack tree. It's 4.30 and my dad and I and the neighbor with the neighbor's help, we finally finished. Let me show y'all the, uh, damn, I keep getting bit by ants. I'm about to have hella bumps in the morning. But uh, let me show y'all what we got. Whew. Lots of trees, bags of leaves, bags and bags and bags of leaves. And then look at this pile we got by the neighbors. He got way more stuff. He got a backyard and front yard. Let me pull out. Woo, woo. Yeah. If only that was a mound of food, boy, I'm hungry. Got a headache, tired. It's been a it's been a wild journey, Hurricane Matthew. Could have been worse. It's been worse here. This whole street was flooded once, but uh, it didn't do too bad and we're all good now. So, Hurricane Matthew, go fuck yourself.